bunch of hairs either, and I got some big jerky. <laughs> there you know. Oh, you forgot. Yeah, I forgot. I need the sauce. Tell her that you need the sauce. How was it? Oh, can you pour me a glass of champagne? Oh, y'all ready, ready. Uh, usually it takes people 10 minutes or so to come in. I should be sitting here playing with my hair, but clearly not today. Today, y'all ready. Um, so before we get started, I'm tired of looking at surgeons, especially subpar surgeons. I combed through so many surgeons that I just got to a point where I was like, hey, I don't want to do this anymore. Because the ones on the past, like, four pages pissed me off and they weren't talented. I was started taking angry notes. So I got to over here and then I was like, all right, Florida, you're cut off. Because I'm going to go and find me talented surgeons. There's more. I just, I just refused to get to them. Because they weren't talented. And I was tired of looking at not really talented people. Bay's the real MVP. We couldn't get started without the, the wine. But um, I'm going to turn the question box off. Because I'm not taking questions today. Um, I'm going to turn off my questions. We're not answering questions. Because today is Tuesday. And y'all can just go ahead and type it right here in a regular. I'm actually going to see these regulars. The regular comments today. What is Tuesday, everybody? Typically, typically, I uh, come on a GA surgeons. Listen, like I was gonna try to do finish out and close out next week with like surgeons in Florida and other areas like Destin and Ocala. When I tell you that I was bored out of my mind, I couldn't do that to myself. I would rather watch paint dry. In the middle of a jail cell before I go and review more boring. It is a reason why the surgeons that y'all I go to and name and and like clamor over. It's a reason why. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Like, it's not that I didn't get it before, but I definitely get it now. I got it before, but I super uber get it now. So we gonna just go on and close out the rest of Miami. Um, there's a couple Fort Lauderdale surgeons in here too. And then next week, because I live in Maryland, I'm from the DMV. We're going to cover DMV surgeons. Um, and cause I'm tired of folk asking me about DMV. And then afterwards we could take a vote on which state or country we go to next. We can, afterwards we can go to New York or we can go to Georgia. I was about to say Atlanta, but Atlanta is not a state. I don't care what people in Atlanta think. ATL is a city, so we can cover Georgia, wherever y'all want to go to next. It's just, I can't hang out in Florida anymore. I'm just sitting here like, Phew. but y'all ready to dig in? Oh, wait, hold on. I'm back. <sighs> so you ready to, to dig in? Um, And then I also, last week, I don't know how, but... I cover, it may, I do know how, because I was there for, I was with y'all for two hours. We're not doing that again today. No. Um, today is not 79 surgeons. It's only, um, I think it's like 41 surgeons. But I was struggling, man. And is this how y'all be feeling when you're going through looking for surgeons? I just want to give y'all little virtual hugs. This was horrible. It hurt for me to keep doing it. All right. But send me some emo uh send me some unicorn emojis if y'all ready to start digging into these questionable ass surgeons. <laughs> I found a couple that I like, but give me some unicorn emojis when y'all ready to get started. I'm just gonna be sitting here sipping. Did anybody do their homework and figure out how to do the badges? Anybody at all? <laughs> Ain't nobody sent me no homework. Y'all all about to be fired. Don't let me get to tomorrow. And out of the people, um, my last video, like it shows me the analytics. 
And it's about 5,000 people who watched that video, right? And then I got 52,000 of y'all on here. And ain't nobody do that homework. Let me not have at least some insight on these badges tomorrow. And y'all all getting cussed out in the first five minutes of the live. So I got to go and figure out how to find these badges when I gave 5,000 of y'all some homework. Somebody better do this homework. All right, cool. Let's get started. Whoopsa. Now, a lot of these surgeons are... <laughs> I started off at Massage Envy. Um, actually, I started off at Annapolis Day Spa till I got fired from there. Um, she just didn't want to hear my mouth anymore. And I kept telling her what was wrong with her company and how to make it better. People don't really like that. I've learned. I've been fired from every job I've ever had my entire life. So first I was at Annapolis Day Spa. And then afterwards I was at Massage Envy. What I have learned from doing this with and for you all is that surgery centers, not even just in Florida, but surgery centers in general are literally the massage envy of plastic surgery. Because as I'm combing through and I was intentionally trying to target surgeons who were not a part of surgical centers, like I was trying to find like hidden gems or whatever. Um, maybe they don't have good marketing, but like they do really bomb work. I kept finding surgeons that I had already covered because all surgery centers do, apparently, is the same thing that Massage Envy does. And they take and pluck surgeons from wherever. Everybody, a.k.a. knows everyone. And just because a surgeon is at a surgery center, it doesn't mean that that surgery center is good or talented or that the surgeon's not talented. It means that they were on um, the get a check bandwagon. And when somebody reached out to them... <sighs> Somebody sent me something. Girl, why would you send me this? And you know I'm talking. And I know you're on the live. Don't send me that right now. Put my phone in do not disturb mode. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. All right. I'll, I, I synced it. And I know you're watching. I will respond to you in a second. It's surgery time, girl. It's surgeon time. I'm a researcher surgeons. Um... All they did was like pick surgeons from everywhere and then mash them together. This just continues to reinforce what I tell you all that a surgery center is not a reflection of a surgeon. It has nothing to do with them. It's a business who wanted to go and collect a whole, but they are like fucking drop shipping of plastic surgery. They go and collect whatever surgeons they can, put it together, slap a business name on it, and then hire some coordinators to take y'all money. And then you all get the brunt of that because you're wondering why you don't have good customer service. They are not in the business of customers. They're in the business of making money. And you all just happen to be the conduit in the avenues of said opportunity. All right. <clears throat> First surgeon. His name is Sean Simo. S-I-M-O. Um, he does eyelid lifts. Um, and then moderate tummy tucks. He leaves a lot of skin. I wasn't a fan of it. And then the other problem with uh, surgeons who leave a lot of skin is that if you all happen to lose any more weight than you've already lost, the skin doesn't really retract after it's been sliced like that. You're going to have more saggy skin. So to start off with saggy skin, this had me back in the mode that I was in last Tuesday. And I was like, hey, yo, you were proud of this? You posted this? This was your good work? I don't want to see what your bad work looks like then. So... On a scale of one to 10, I gave his tummy tucks like a four and a half, maybe a five on a good day. And then um, he doesn't do when he does lipo. He doesn't do enough lipo. Um, I do know. And this was on like a lot of clients that Miami and Florida is a different scene where you're not um, when your prices are higher, when you have a private practice especially with them being in Florida, they are attracting a different type of clientele. So a lot of these surgeons don't see African-Americans. They don't see African-American melanated skin. They don't see a lot of minorities. They see clients who may be a size four, put on a couple quarantine pounds before quarantine, and they just want the doctor to suction them out. But they already have a very nice natural shape. So for the average person that I know is watching my live, no judgment, but... A lot of these surgeons are not outside of like if you want to get surgery in Florida, stick to the surgery centers for the most part. 
Um, because as I was combing through these surgeons, I was like, she was already skinny. She was already skinny. This bitch could have worked out. She could have stopped eating for three days and could achieve these exact same results that you just did, my man. But you charged her $16,000 for it. Um, and that was Dr. Simo for me. Um, and then the, there was, I literally just wrote minimal change in BBL. How do you look the same after a BBL? Like her, I was like, all right, so where's the after? Maybe I missed it. Let me go back. Let me go back. Okay. So where's the after? Oh, all of y'all look like this. Got it. So Simon is a no for me, dog. Sips tea. All right. Next we got Jamie Flores. Jamie Flores does men and women. Um, what I liked about Jamie Flores is that Jamie does uh, gender, transgender clients. And then also uh, gynecomastia. So gynecomastia are, is a medical term for men who develop man boobs. And no matter how much they work out in the gym, they can't. It's um, usually based on hormones. They can't get their man boobs to go away. So they go and they get lipo, but it's just to get rid of the man boobs. Um, so he does that. He does a good job with gynecomastia. He does a good job with ab etching. Again, everybody was skinny already. But I have seen some ab etching go left. Was not a fan. So Jamie Flores, kudos to you for that. Um, tummy tuck. I like their. Uh, I like Jamie Flores' tummy tucks. But again, his clients were already skinny. They had a baby and their skin did not retract. So Jamie Flores, like a lot of his clients had a BMI of 26 to 28. Um, and his BBLs were just like, yawn. All right. Um, that's it. Moving on. Next, I found some dude named Sam Gershenbaum. Sam Gershenbaum um, in Miami has been practicing for 20 plus years. I don't like his tummy tucks and he left his clients very wide. With this new generation, you all are trailblazers. And so with this new generation of trailblazers has um, y'all, y'all not broke anymore and you're usually not afraid to spend money, but it's like, you want to feel proud of the money that you're spending. Right. Um, a lot of these surgeons are not used to the type of artistry that you all are expecting. Um, wherein, but their clients also don't have the same desires, looks, expectations that you are. They're not trying to be a bad bitch. They're not trying to look like a vixen. They're not, they just want to look better than what they looked like when they walked in. That isn't the average person. I don't want to look mediocre or average. I want to look good. We ain't even talking about great. I just said good. And a lot of these surgeons, they will make an incisional line and then sew you up and you heal, right? But there's no sculpting to it. Uh, sorry, I was adjusting the chair. There's no sculpting. There's no curve she looks like a cereal box that got like a shape up at the bottom if there is such a thing where they literally if 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 they could take a chainsaw to a client and come by and cut off that fupa and then sew it up that's what they look like but 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 that line looked clean it was a clean cereal box um gershenbaum you make some clean cereal boxes sir Shout outs to you. Go find some milk. And then you all set. Because that's what the fuck these clients look like. They look like a box of Chex Mix with a body. They look like Chex Mix with a head attached to it. They look like a box of Chex Mix, but they forgot to put the words on the front. And then they shoved a head on top of it. That's what they, they look like a clean cereal box. Gershon bomb. Um... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like shit about him, but uh, he's been practicing for 20 years. And keep in mind, these are clients that live down in uh, in Palm Beach, in Biscayne, in the Keys, and they are happy to just look different. Um, if you are okay with, but they're price tags. Those price tags do not justify me looking like a checks box. 
if I go in looking like a checks box to begin with, I want to come back out looking like a 1962 Coke bottle. Moving on. All right. After that. Satisfying? Hmm? satisfying? What's satisfying? You want to come out looking satisfying? Coke bottle. Coke bottle. Are you quoting Coca-Cola commercials now? No. So are you trying to say that I already don't? My son. What? So are you trying to say that I already don't look satisfying? Because if so, I got no. questions. No, I'm saying you want to come out looking like a Coke bottle. Yes. And, and the old Coke bottles look really nice. Yes, they do. So you're just confirming what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for knowing what a 1962 Coke bottle looks like. Because I ain't talking about the, the 2012 Coke bottle. Those look weird and bulky at the top. Quinn, don't stop. I got ADD. Let me focus, boy. Um. All right. What's next? So next we got uh, Normal. Normal Nathan. Did I write anything about Normal? Oh, oh. So we're going to go back to Sam Gershenbaum with the clean checks box. I wrote, oh, my mans, I forgot about this. <laughs> he works on celebrities and a bunch of supermodels. And he does moderate to no lipo from what I've seen. But his clients do heal naturally. All right, moving on from the checks box. Mr. I do supermodels. All right, next I got Normal. Normal's from New Jersey. His name is Normal Nathan. Normal Nathan, Normal Nathan, Normal Nathan, Normal Nathan. He's from New Jersey. He's board certified. He specializes in eye lifts, face lifts. Oh, so eyelid, eyelid lifts here and then here. Face lifts and then rhinoplasty. Um, lipo only. Horrible. That's what I wrote. He leaves a lot of fat. The lipo is uneven. The clients are left very wide. Um, he does do a good tummy tuck, but not with lipo. So if you already shape nice and you literally just have a bunch of uh, skin at the bottom and then he comes all over with the chainsaw, he's another one of them. Um, he doesn't look like he does any lipo. So if you just need a get her done tummy tuck, normal is your dude. All right, we talking about um, Florida back. We're in Florida, but we're at surgery centers that are not at Florida. Maybe I should put that. All right, today on Tide Takeover, we are talking about nah, um, surgeons in Florida that are not at surgery centers. All right, and I'm gonna pin that. Cool. All right, shout out to everybody that's joining us. I just pinned what we're talking about today on uh, surgery recap day. Okay, is my phone just not trying to stay now? Man. Just stay. Just stay. Is I'm probably gonna move it again, but it's okay. So where are they? Hospitals. A lot of them have, no, they're not at hospitals. A lot of them have their own private practices. They may rent medical facilities. The difference of a surgery center or the definition of a surgery center in this industry is not necessarily if they work at a center that does surgery. That is very literal. That does not apply to plastic surgery. In this industry, when someone is at a surgery center, they um, work at a conglomerate uh, a practice that houses multiple doctors. This is not that. Um, and a lot of them either have a surgical OR built into their private practice or they rent out space inside of a hospital or, or an ambulatory center. 
Um, Mahil Doll SoCal, today's Tuesday. On Tuesdays, we only talk about surgeons. So, not recommending any recovery houses or anything. That's what all the other days are for. Today, on Tuesdays, we only talk about surgeons. That's it. All right, what's next? So, next I got... Oh, Nathan. Yep. Nathan, he even named this clinic after him. It's called the Nathan Clinic. <laughs> I know that's right. With your cereal boxes. You get a cereal box. You get a cereal box. Y'all all get cereal boxes. Sorry. Um, D. Geronimo actually works at... Where is D. Geronimo at? D. Geronimo actually works at 305 and he also has his private practice. I covered D. Geronimo already. So if you're interested in seeing G D. Geronimo, then look at the live from last Tuesday. Um, if you go at, look at my videos, they are in the description of what we talked about and what we covered. So last Tuesday on Thai Takeover, because I usually just let y'all come on and we talk about whatever y'all want to talk about, except on Tuesdays. Um, but D. Geronimo was covered last week at 305. Um, and even if he has his own practice, if he works at a surgery center, it was covered last week. All right. So past normal Nathan, we're at Pat Pazimo. Pazimo. I'm probably saying it wrong. Pazimo went to Harvard. I was going to say Howard. Pazimo went to Harvard. And did I give my man's Pazimo a blue check? I did. I liked Pazimo. All right. So. Pazimo went to um, went to Harvard and he does a really good BBL with projection. Um, who's Dr. J Nick on boobies? I don't know. It's kind of hard to mess up boobs, though. Like it's really hard to mess up boobs. You have to commit to trying to mess up boobs. I actually saw one doctor today who messed up on boobs and I was like, who raised you? So I don't know who Dr. J Nick is. Um, and I don't remember covering Dr. Janik. I don't know if Dr. Janik was amongst the list of surgeons who I was like, after a while, you just get tired of looking at titties. I just don't want to, and everyone, if they didn't do, y'all want to know who does a bomb snatch, good lipo, really clean tummy tuck with a small waist. And, um, yep, that's how you spell Pazimo and a fat booty with like curves and hips and projection. That's what y'all want to know. I mean, I could talk about boobs, but everybody in Miami does boobs. Literally, everybody except for Dr. Doback does boobs. And it's really hard to mess it up. Even though Dr. Chang did accomplish that, I don't know how. But Mindietta was last Tuesday. Um, Mindietta does have his own practice, but he works out of... Um, occasionally Seoul. And why is... Oh, me Aesthetics. Um, he was retiring until his wife took half his stuff. And that's another story. Yes, I am the goat. I know all of the things. I know most of the things. I don't know all of the things, but I know a lot of the things. Dr. My man's Pazimo. So Pazimo, P-A-Z-I-M-O. He does a good BBO. I like his projection. He does good boobs. And I liked his tummy tuck. I was a fan of my man's. Next, we have, this was a surgery center. Um, it's called Professional Plastic Surgery. And where they at though? Um, they have three surgeons there. So their three surgeons are, they do a lot. So at professional plastic surgery, <clears throat> they, I think I covered De Leon last week. Um, at professional plastic surgery, they do a lot of skinny BBLs. And their tummy tucks are only okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, I gave them a 6. And that was just grouping them all together. But the three individual surgeons, um, there wasn't anybody that wowed me. But I'll tell you their names anyways. The first is Bella Pacheck, P-A-C-H-E-C-H. -E I've been practicing for 20 years and um, is a board certified plastic surgeon. Does a moderate tummy tuck. Next was Julio Clavijo Alvarez. Uh, board certified plastic surgeon has been practicing for over 10 years hails from Colombia. does a moderate tummy tuck and a skinny bbl and then julio orante vaginal plasty i didn't see pictures of that but the reviews were out of this world 
If you are interested in vaginal rejuvenation, Julio Orante is your guy. Um, Julio Orante hails from Cuba, um, has been practicing since 1963, and he looks like he's been practicing since 1963. Um, let me write this name down. Uh, Doctor, I got a new pen. Look, it makes me happy. It writes really good too. But I got a new pen. All right, Doctor J Nick Plastic Surgery. I'll look him up and um, I'll circle back and cover him next week. There were a few doctors that I didn't cover this week, so I will. Um, ah, he's the old Dovac. Got it. All right, all right, all right. Um, who does vaginal reju rejuvenation until what does, oh, I, I don't go into that detail. It makes your vagina not stretched out. You got walls again. There's different things that you can do with a, a vaginal plasty, whether you got lips hanging off that you don't like, um, or whether you want it tighter, whether they fix your hymen, there's different, there's levels to this shit. So if you want to know more about it, you can use Google and then you can also contact Arante and then you can ask him. But um, does vaginoplasty, he does um, breast uh, augmentation, breast reduction, and um, breast lift. And I liked all of his booby stuff. So he, he was cool. I'm going to give him a blue check. Um, he rocked out in his lane. All right. So what's after that? Next, after professional. And that was, again, they are at professional plastic surgery. Earl is on there. Yes, I'm going to talk about Earl. He's like towards the end. So if you don't want to hear about all these other surgeons, just come back at like 8.59 or some shit. But yes, I'm going to talk about Earl. How can you not talk about Earl? Earl's amazing. Um, cool. Next we have, oh, um, Julio Arante uh, was the last one that I talked about at Professional Plastic Surgery Center. And he does the vaginoplasty, breast, booby stuff, and he's from Cuba. All right. Next we got My Cosmetic Surgery Center. My Cosmetic Surgery Center reminded me of CG Cosmetics, but not as ratchet. They had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven surgeons. And then they had some cosmetic surgeons. But I try to spare y'all the cosmetic surgeons unless they're really talented. But um, Miami or where, where my cosmetic surgery center um, reminds me of CG, just not ratchet. All right, so the first surgeon at my cosmetic surgery center is Dr. Jose Zayas, um, does good boobs. Next was Dr. Luke Gutman. All right, so Gutman did good arms. So whether you want arm lipo or an arm lift, I liked his arms. Um, his BBL, he had good BBL projection. Again, his name is Gutman. He did good on tummy tucks. Um, okay, so here's the problem. Uh, I take that back. This is why he didn't get a blue check. <clears throat> um, Goodman, <clears throat> tummy tucks were good, but his clients had a lot of visceral fat. So instead, I'm okay with telling y'all no. I embrace telling y'all no is a healing sentence with a period at the end. I wish that a lot of, he does good work, but the bedside manner is lacking to not tell y'all no or give you instructions. The amount of visceral fat is still visible where if there's a client and then the client has this, this curve, what they, uh, they'll do is like, if they were to, let's take my wine glass and let's say that this is my wine glass of stomach. So instead of telling my wine glass to go and lose weight to get rid of this curve, like they just take a put an incision right here so there's still a bulge up here at the top part of the abdomen that i don't like and that cannot be lipoed there's a difference between subcutaneous fat and visceral fat and then that subcutaneous fat creates a bulge that the surgeon can't get to so now you got this flat lower stomach and you got some bomb like he curves you you got bomb side but then you got all of this visceral fat that's still sitting at the top because you never lost weight. And then now, because if you're going to lose the weight afterwards, because that tummy tuck line has already been done, you're now going to have saggy skin and need a tummy tuck revision. That was my downside to Goopman. But that's not Goopman's fault. That's the client's fault. But someone should have informed and educated the client. And it wasn't just like one or two clients. Most of his clients were overweight 
and carried a decent amount. He, like he got rid of the subcutaneous fat, lipo them, shape them. If you want to go to Gutman, I don't, I'm not saying don't go to Gutman. Just lose the weight before you go. Cause Gutman ain't going to tell you about it. Okay. Who's next? Next, I have Fabian Fontaine. That's a nice fancy ass name. Fabian Fontaine. That sounds like name and lights. Fabian Fontaine. Um, Fabian does great lipo, but um, the BBLs were very basic looking. Again, this is one of the surgeons where the BBL looked the same afterwards. So we just go ahead and skip Fabian. Nice name though. Um, now, I hope this is not the same Legrasso that I have. I feel a certain type of way. Because I don't remember if the Legrasso, this, I'm, I'm going to put this back on y'all to do your homework. Because Legrasso on the other page, that's not a common last name. I don't have Legrasso's full name here for my cosmetic surgery center. But Legrasso got a blue check on my other page. Like Legrasso showed the fuck out. I was just like, yes, I put exclamation marks and like smiley faces and I love LaGrosso's work, but I'm sitting here and I'm looking at from the notes that I took when the work that this look, unless there's another LaGrosso in Miami, I mean, it could be, it's a shit ton of Alvarez's and Diaz's and Ramirez's. That's kind of racist, but it's a bunch of them. So maybe there's more than one LaGrosso, but the LaGrosso that's at my cosmetic surgery center didn't like the tummy tucks, did absolutely no sculpting. Didn't like the BBL. They were overstuffed. Um, maybe my man doesn't give any fucks when you go see him at my cosmetic surgery center. If it's the same Legrasso, because the Legrasso at his private practice has some yes bitches after it. We gonna get that though. So if you want to go see Legrasso, apparently don't go do it at my cosmetic surgery center. Or maybe they just didn't, ain't no way that. That booty that I saw looked like somebody pulled uh, someone's skin back and they just stuffed it with all the things that they could find. And then they just kept going. <laughs> that booty looked so trifling. <laughs> Let me get this shit on my shirt. I need that highlighter. Do you know here? <laughs> we not fucking with Legrasso. Uh, or maybe we need to have a conversation with Legrasso. Like, hey, you got your life together today? Before I put these coins down, before you cut on me, you got your shit together? How you feeling? You want some coffee? Let me give you this edible. No, fuck that. You can have the edible afterwards. But what we doing today? Because we not doing that bullshit that's on your website. All right. After Legrasso, you know that dog did not get up and get that goddamn toy. Next, I have Robin Deer Jerry L. <laughs> Robin Deer Jerry L. I don't know if y'all want to write this down. You may not need to. It's J A R I A L. Jerry L. Um, did good boobs, but the tummy tuck um, had the same problem with the clients were left with a bunch of visceral fat. So, good tummy tuck. If you want to go to Robin Deer, at my cosmetic surgery center, Robin Deer does good boobs and good tummy tucks. You just need to lose the weight first because they won't tell you. Um, Lafrasso. Cool. No problem. Thank you. I don't know why I put a... Uh, because my man, Lagrasso? Lagrasso ain't playing with y'all. He ain't come to play at all. He want all the smoke. Oh, don't try and mess with my man, Lagrasso. Lafrasso. Who? Lagrasso. That's my man's. All right, and then um, the last two people at my cosmetic surgery center. Thank you for that assist right there. Uh, oh, Chet, it is Legrasso. God damn it. Look, just don't go see him at my surgery center, okay? <laughs> Whether it's Legrasso or Lafrasso. Um, oh, 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 who's the other one? Damn it, I didn't write his name down either. God damn it, Ty. Just go, don't go see him at my surgery center. Next is Scott McDonald. I didn't like his tummy tuck. He does no sculpting. We're going to move on. Canceled. Next, we have David Globe Man. David does good arm stuff. So, he's your arm man. She said bad assistant. <laughs> you tried though, baby. 
<laughs> All right. So David Globeman does a good arm lift and a good arm lipo. And that's it. Next, we're going to move on to Dr. Suleiman or Solom. Solom? S-O-L-L-O-U-M. Don't write that down. I don't know if it's going to be worth anything. Nope, nope, nope. Don't even write his name down. No. Nah. I'm going to tell you about it, but he ain't worth writing down. <laughs> nope, I have not gotten to Atlanta yet. So we'll do DMV and then we'll go to Georgia the following week. Assuming that I get through DMV because DMV is three fucking states. So I next week we will be in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia somewhere. But nah, I haven't gotten to Atlanta yet. All right. Um, so Dr. Solum is from Tennessee, went to Vanderbilt, then New Orleans, double board certified, like real decorated. Imagine like a soldier who's like super decorated with all these fucking medals. But all he did was like fold the towels in the back when like motherfuckers would come in bleeding and shit. Or maybe he would make the Kool-Aid. That's Solum. Um, he does reconstructive surgeries. Um, not a lot of BBO work. Um, the BBO work that I did see is very basic. I wasn't impressed on a scale of one to 10. I gave it a two. Um, nothing to write home about. Uh, does some lipo, does some boobs. I wasn't impressed. I was actually kind of bored. Did I skip? Oh, hell. I did skip. Where'd I skip to? Oh, shiggity. That was number... No, 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 no. I did okay. I'm in order. Okay, we good. All right, moving on. Next, we have Dr. George Var Varkarakis. But I think that's nothing worth writing down either. I think I was just challenging myself to say his name. Nope, nope. I started fussing up a fucking storm. Um, so Dr. Varkarakis... Um, has been working for 18 years, does a lot of reconstruction, um, uh, doesn't sculpt, um, at all, doesn't do curves, is just improvement, made it better, um, but, okay, so that's with, with body procedures, but Dr. Vara Var Caracas, so you can write his name down, if you're interested in like off kilter procedures, like ear lifts, eyelid, uh, chin lipo, arm lifts, but that BB on a TT, good. In that order. All right. After Varkarakis, next I have Dr. Brandon Coleman. Brandon has been working for 27 years. Is a board certified plastic surgeon. He specializes in noses. That's it. All right. Cool. Um, next we have Dr. Soler Balio, a plastic surgery center, um, named it after himself. Way to go, my mans. Board certified, has been practicing for 20 plus years. Good hip projection on a BBL, but actually no butt projection. So if you are one of those people who are just like, I want some hips. Let's say you're looking for a round two surgeon just because you really want some hips. Soler Balio, B-A-I-L-L-O. Great, great hip projection. No ass though. No shaping. Um, so you need to be shaped already. But he will kill it on some hips. Um, that's it for him. Next is Dr. Salim. Don't even write this down because he pissed me off. I got a lot of angry notes in there. But Dr. Salim is board certified in ophthalmology. Oh, this is why I got a bunch of notes from him. Because when you go to his website... It says plastic surgery all over the place. When you pull him up on Google, it says plastic surgeon. But my man's is double board certified in ophthalmology. Not a plastic surgeon at all. Um, offers all kinds of facey stuff. So I'm cool with the facey stuff. You probably should not be doing facelifts, Dr. Salim. But he's like certified in all these facey stuff and reconstruction of the uh, orbital space and, and more facey stuff. But why are you dibbling dabbling in lipo? That's not your lane, Dr. Salim. So Dr. Salim offers laser lipo, aqua lipo, and water lipo. And has the hordacity to have these things listed separately with a long ass impressive looking explanation and definition that will confuse the shit out of somebody who doesn't know what's going on. 
And they think they're getting some new, new shit. I'm the new, new. No, no, no. It's fucking laser lipo. Um, except they're not using a label, laser. It's using, some, it's called a water lipo. I had to go and look this shit up. It says it uses water for fla- and, and combines it with fat flushing technology. If this motherfucker is shooting y'all up with a water gun in the back of an OR room, because he's not an actual surgeon, I think I might fight him for you. We just go on like push him to the side and act like we didn't have that conversation. But I took so many angry notes. I just had to share it with y'all. We can move on. All right. After Salem, does it get, when does it get better? Uh, we got like seven more doctors before it gets better. Um, Stephen Baker um, is from Germany. Uh, board certified, 20 years. Um, I didn't see a difference between aqua and water lipo, like at all, except one had the word aqua and one had the word water. <sighs> Steven Baker, he's from Germany, board certified, has been practicing for 20 years, does tummy tuck, um, but, uh, minimal sculpting. So another check cereal box kicks mix kind of person. And I haven't seen him do any work on any African-Americans. Um, the more that I looked up these surgeons, the more that we got away from actual Miami. And I'm thinking that these surgeons are closer down towards the Keys and um, folk who just don't give a fuck. They just want to be flat in the front and the back, literally, because these asses is like, you should charge him for ro- he robbed you blind. Um... And they're okay with not being sculpted as long as their flat is front, as long as their front is flat, and as long as their back is flat. But there's no, there's none of us. Let me say that. There's none of this. It's a bunch of this, none of this. And I, there's nothing wrong with that. But I wanted to include that to educate you all on how to look for and compare surgeons you need to make sure that your surgeon is familiar with african-american skin our skin don't heal the same way as others um if somebody doesn't tell you that or says otherwise you shouldn't even be talking like cut conversation just it's over there's no point you continue to talk to somebody that's that undereducated and so when picking a surgeon make sure that their rolodex and their uh, their portfolio on their gallery has some type of minority skin in there but stephen baker ain't it but he's from Germany. And that explains a lot. All right. Next, I got um, Aqua Plastic Surgery. Who the fuck is that Aqua? Did I skip Aqua? Mm-mm. All right. So Aqua has one, two, three, four surgeons there. Um, nobody there does good BBLs. So if you're looking for a BBL, Aqua Plastic Surgery is not your place. Um, the first one is Dr. Rankin. And Dr. Rankin is board certified, does boobs, and does really, 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 really good lipo. Um, I'm going to give him a blue check. Because his lipo was off the chain. Rankin is spelled R-A-N-K-I-N. Does good boobs, good lipo. Don't bother with the BBL. So if you want to go somewhere and you want lipo only, aqua plastic surgery, Dr. Rankin or Rankin. R-A-N-K-I-N. Next, Lord, yo, these fucking names. <sighs> Vivicar. I'm, I'm going to start there. Let's see if it's worth us. Oh, um, I didn't get a chance to look this one up. So if somebody wants to real quick research and look up a corset abdominal abdomen. Pl- a corset tummy tuck. I can never say that word. But he does a corset tummy tuck. And I know that boobs you can have an internal bra or an internal shelf built in um because i was researching i think i got sidetracked and forgot but i went i meant to look up is corset tummy tuck is spelled abdomen uh abdominoplasty abdominoplasty i wonder if a corset abdominoplasty is something fancy where it creates an internal corset where your body does not ever change out of that shape because of how they sell you I was so intrigued, but I forgot to look it up. Anyways, my man's is double board certified. Him went to, see, I knew it. Um, yes, Chavez does corset tummy tucks. All right, so we gonna hold, Vivicar, I'm gonna spell it for y'all. 
Um, cause I did like his work, but it looked like it was ab etching, but it didn't say that he did ab etching. So I'm gonna go ahead and attribute that to the corset abdominoplasty. Um, he's from Harvard, has been working for over 20 years, loved his work. I'm gonna spell it out for y'all. And again, um, this surgeon is at Aqua Plastic Surgery, Vivacar, V-I-B as in boy, H-A-K-A-R. How nice is it to have options, man? Well, y'all not all, like, not all 7,000 of y'all are fighting over the same four surgeons paying $20,000 for a mommy makeover. Mejia, I want you to be ashamed of yourself, but your work is so good, I'm sure you're not going to. It's okay, my man, it's okay. All right, next, we got Bauermeister. Not enough work. I think Bauermeister is new, so we're just going to skip over him. Lisiak, um, specializes in saggy skin. It's a woman. She's board certified, specializes in saggy skin. Um, I think that includes Jade Plasma, but I also think that she's new. Didn't have a lot of work. All right, we're moving on from Aqua Plastic Surgery to who's next? So somebody asked me last time about Dr. Constantine Kitsos. I could not, I found Dr. Constantine on Google. There's no website associated. Typed it in on Constantine and Kitsos are a very popular name. Couldn't find stuff on Instagram. But because I've actually seen several people ask, I might need a little bit of assistance. I'll put him to the back, but I couldn't find any pics of his work. And then I got questions because... How are you a plastic surgeon and you don't have a website? That's a red flag. Are you laundering drugs for the cartel? Kitsos? Um, yes, we are still talking about surgeons that are in Florida that are not at a surgery center. Because Kitsos also, I think, was supposed to be, but I didn't see any work there. Kitsos is supposed to be at New Life, but I didn't see any of his work. I don't know, man. But Kitsos came up. All right, next we have Dr. Gallo. <clears throat> Dr. Gallo has been practicing for 23 years, is board certified, and I don't have a Dr. Sue. Um, I stated at the beginning of this that uh, if you want me to look up Dr. Sue, I can uh, on a day that's not today. But um, where were you at earlier when I asked y'all? I put up the little thing that says, what surgeons do y'all want me to talk about today? And Dr. Sue wasn't there. Every Tuesday during the day, if there is a surgeon that you want me to look up, come to my page. Th turn on my little notifications. That's what, that's y'all second homework. On top of y'all finding the badges, I want you to go and turn on my notifications. There's a look. I'll even do a like walkthrough. I'll screen record how to turn on the notifications for this page because I interact with y'all so much and I want to be as prepared for you as possible. So I don't waste your time and look up the surgeons that you are interested in or even answer the questions you're interested in. But, um, you responded late. Okay. I'm, I'm done fussing, but I'll write down Dr. Sue. Um, people was asking about certain side covered last week. You know, I already talked about them. I ain't talking about them again. Um, Dr. Thomas Sue. Is Dr. Thomas Sue in Florida? All right. Uh, where did I stop at? I stopped at Gallo. Did I take any notes on Gallo? Oh, uh, Gallo just does noses. So if you're interested, in, but he does noses on African Americans. That matters. That's a that's huge. So Gallo, MD, 23 years, um, uh, rhinoplasty. I don't think I covered Doctor Zach. And. But what I was saying at the beginning of this is that I got tired of looking at so much mediocre work. I just stopped looking up surgeons. So, no. Um, but I, I wrote Dr. Zach down. Oh, Dr. Zach is a new. Dr. Zach, is that the one that kills a bunch of, or is that the other one that kills a bunch of clients? Uh, we haven't gotten to New York yet. All right. Next, I have Dr. Carlos. Oh, Lord. How do I say this man's name? I don't know. But he got a blue check. So we got to figure out how to say his name. Dr. Ca Carlos. <laughs> Fucking tie. My handwriting is some shit. So I don't know if this is, I think it's a G. Oh, hell. I don't know what letter that is. Um, Dr. 
Oh, Dr. Zach, that was Mindy's protege. I love his work. I don't know if he's still there, but Dr. Zach is amazing. So wherever Zach is at now, go find him. Zach is good for BBLs, for ab etching, for tummy tucks. Zach is the shit. Zach is also expensive now too. So I don't know if you want to stick with Zach. But back to this man that I cannot pronounce. Carlos Weinger Burger. I don't know how to say this. Shit, man. W-E-I, I think this is a G. E-R-I-N-G. He's from Peru. Um, I covered Mamenskis last week. Uh, whatever this man's name is, he's from Peru. He's been practicing since 1979. Uh, I didn't see that he was board certified. But he does good boobs and his lipo is lit. Bomb ass lipo and I cannot pr pronounce my man's name. All right. Um, after the man's name who I can't pronounce is um, Leonard Rudners. Leonard is from Australia, has been practicing for 25 years, is board certified, does boobs. Did I take any other notes? Nope. Apparently he does good boobs. Next was um, Randy Miller. Randy Miller is from Philly, Texas, is board certified, has been practicing for 29 years, 25 years. Um, and he does hands. So hand surgery, hand lift, hand reconstruction. Um, tummy tuck, he's another box person. So he, he creates cereal boxes. Tummy tuck, no lipo, just a basic ass line, get her done. That line was straight as fuck. Like it was just hip to hip. And then he pulled it down and he sewed it together. All right. Um, but if you have anything wrong with your hands, maybe you, you lost a lot of weight. Um, his hand lipo and hand surgery was really good. Um, hand lifts. Next, I had Dr. Abu Zina, Zini, but Dr. Abu Zini was cosmetic surgery only. So never mind. We're going to skip Abu Zini. I think I just like saying the name. So I kept it. Um, number 32 is Philip Kraft. Philip Kraft. Um, uh, board certified gender reassignment love that so if you are a kin wanting to become a Karen or the other way around um you uh Dr. Philip Kraft in Florida gender reassignment and butt implants I couldn't get that Are your surgeon reviews good for round two correction? I didn't go that deep into whether they would be good for a round two correction, but um, we can talk about that. Like for you to know if a surgeon is good for a round two correction, you would have to look deeper into their skill set, how talented they are. Do they charge extra? Matter of fact, Dr. Masri, I love everything about their, Dr. Masri and Dr. Masri will not touch you if you've already, he doesn't even do round twos. So there's a lot more that goes into a question like that, that I don't have the answer on when I'm like researching a gang of surgeons all at once. All right. Um, after Philip Kraft, um, I have Zadon Thomas. Did I say anything else about Philip Kraft? No, I have Zadon Thomas Jr. All right, we're going to write his name down. Zadon, um, but not for tummy tucks. He doesn't do good tummy tucks. His tummy tucks, I actually wrote down, what the fuck? But um, his lipo is very impressive. He studied like literally all over the country. Does really, really, really good lipo. So if you're interested in a surgeon that does J plasma or lipo only, um, Zadon is good. Uh, just not for BBL or tummy tuck. He is a lipo only doctor. Um, number 34 I have is um, Moza Perez Ramiro at Moza Surgery. <clears throat> um, uh, Ramirez does good ab etching, sculpting, lipo. Um, and that was it. So he'll do tummy stuff on you. Number 35 was my man LaGrasso, the LaGrasso that I did like, and it is Jeffrey LaGrasso. So I guess that he just didn't feel like working when he goes to that surgery center because LaGrasso showed off um, at his private practice. Very nice lipo. Tummy tucks are everything. Very good BBL. He was, oh my gosh, he creates heart shaped booties and then teardrop booties where like here's a teardrop. And then here's a teardrop and then this is the waist and then the two teardrops just meet. It was so pretty. 
um when i get to new york we can talk about all the new york surgeons i think that's the one that kills people and then does like lipo when he shouldn't be short shock korean i am almost positive was the doctor i was talking about when i thought we were talking about zach um but lagrasso jeffrey lagrasso at his private practice is a good look no we're not going for three hours tonight um i am actually i want to say i'm almost done yeah y'all about to get cut off no we ain't going for no three hours tried it absolutely tried it um next we have rotenberg <clears throat> Mm -mm. everything was a no don't matter of fact we <clears throat> just forget i said his name next um david girth <laughs> all right so david girth as i kept going through his portfolio on instagram and on his private practice i think that the original pictures that were posted towards the bottom like i go in deep for these surgeons for y'all so david girth i think he would at his, his private practice he was like okay he was mediocre and then i think when he started working i don't know if he went to miami or if he's always been in miami but his work has gotten substantially better however it is deceiving because the clients are laying on the table like his newer work the clients are laying on the table and they're all old up and looking sexy like think of like the strip club and she come out there and like she's all like she's covered in baby oil and you just know she about to do the damn thing but like she be fronting and it's not that good that is what his work the vibes that his work are giving me just because they are oiled the fuck up <clears throat> um i didn't see any work any recent work of his clients afterwards healed standing up that is important when you are reviewing your own surgeons you need to see their clients not on a table i don't care how much how good their booty look when they're laying down you need to see them standing up after they've healed in a 360. so if somebody is only showing one pose that is misleading um if somebody is um constantly showing you clients on a table that's also misleading because these clients their stomachs look concaved in Everybody's stomach looks concave in when they're laying face down. But if you looked, he left a decent amount of fat and a decent amount of skin that was still associated on the client and they were laying down, but they looked good. So his work was bad in the beginning. It has since gotten better, um, but it's not really that impressive. On a scale of one to 10, I gave him a six and a half. All right. Who's after girth? Next, we got another blue check. His name was Mark bruto mark bruto does something called a mermaid lift i thought it was interesting and then i went and lifted it up and it's just a mommy makeover he just want to be schmancy um he is board certified i gave him a blue check his bbls um made me gag um his tummy tucks were average <laughs> another cereal box but he is a surgical beast with lipo only um speaks uh english and spanish and he did some of the best lipo i had seen out of all of these doctors everything else was tragic but his lipo was good um and then i got the the norms um ending out this list i got dr earl dr blinsky and then dr fisher um just because oh and then i had dr zayed hamuda home of it i can't say my man's last name which is why i see everyone calls him dr zayed but dr zayed does great arms great lipo great bbl great j plasma fisher does amazing bbls and hips um but fisher's bmi requirement is a 31 um earl i have nothing bad to say about earl except he's really picky and really expensive but still not mahio expensive um earl does good work um has great bedside manner has amazing customer service um there isn't too much that i haven't seen from him that i didn't like um from boobs to tummy tuck to butts to lipo um and then if something is wrong he actually will entertain doing a revision some girls were trying to scam him recently and pissed him off so he changed his um revision um requirements but he still does them um i have nothing nothing bad to say about earl Earl is amazing in every single way. Um, he's active on social media. If you reach out to him, um, if you want to be added to his group, he's active in his group. Actually, he moderates his own group. He doesn't just have people doing and saying whatever the fuck they want inside the group. 
Um, Blinsky is at 305, but Blinsky also works. I, the last time I checked, Blinsky was working on his own private practice, but um, love Blinsky's work. Um, but Blinsky and Fisher um, are like some OGs. They've been around for a while and they got OG prices. Um, Dr. Ari Crow was covered last um, last live. Um, Ari Crow has his own practice, but he also works out of CG Cosmetics. Um, he is cheaper if you see him at CG. Um, you will not get all of the bells and whistles um, post-op wise. But if you're going just for boobs, you kind of don't really need all the bells and whistles anyways. So like drains or foams or free boards or free fajas. But you don't need all that stuff. And it'll save you maybe like $5,000. Um, Blinsky retired at the end. Wait, who's blind, blindly retired at the end of this year? Who's blindly? Blindly or Blinsky retired? Um, at the end of 2020 or um, is retiring at the end of 2021. Um, but yeah, I... I got tired of reviewing mediocre surgeons. So out of everybody that I went over with you all, there was one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There were seven out of 46 surgeons. There were seven that I highlighted in blue because they were really good. But even then, outside of the OGs that we already, there wasn't anyone that we didn't know of that does amazing BBLs. Um, I mean, you got boobs. Oh, Paz. My man's Paz does a really good BBL. Um, I just got tired. Like, there's more. There's more surgeons. I was just like, I'm not looking at any more mediocre ass surgeons in Florida. Their work was on a scale of one to 10. On average, it was a two. Because the people, you, people live up to the level of their expectations or the expectations that we um, place upon them. And so if they've never had a reason to change anything that they're doing, they're still making money, still charging uh, like the prices that they charge. The way that this, pla the in this industry is handled is so much of it is done in secrecy. So you'll have surgeons on real self um, who self advocate. You have a couple clients who will go on and do reviews. But outside of that, typically... Unless you have somebody who is like telling you, hey, go here. When it comes to our research, we go wherever our homegirls went to because we're comfortable telling our homegirls what we did. Or you see that your homegirl did something. And so we play it just like the surgeons play an aggressive game of follow the leader. We do as well. And you go to what you know about and who exists. When it comes to a lot of these surgeons who are in Florida, their clients do the same thing. And they just go to wherever their homegirls went to, or they go to whoever's convenient, whoever's locals, whoever's next to them. They don't do their research. And so the surgeons don't have to level up. They don't have to be better. They don't have to be talented or artistic or learn new techniques. And their work shows. I Outside of the main ones, I don't ever want to talk about any more uh, Florida surgeons because they're all basic and expensive. Let's say what it is. Tell us what it's state. All right, y'all. Told y'all I wasn't hanging out with y'all for um, uh, two, three hours. Uh, I covered D. Geronimo um, last week. What did I say about D. Geronimo? And I covered... Somebody asked about Maminkis. Maminkis I covered last week. Maminkis does um, great lipo, great boobs, um, average BBL. And then I didn't like Maminkis's tummy tuck. But D. Geronimo is at 305, and D. Geronimo does a good skinny BBL um, and moderate BBL. So D. Geronimo's, if you're not already, if you are already skinny, D. Geronimo does an amazing BBL on you. If you are not already skinny, on a scale of 1 to 10, D. Geronimo does about a 7 out of 10 BBL. Um, does better work on slimmer girls. Um... That was what I got from D. Geronimo. All right. Did anybody have any other questions? So we can wrap up uh, Florida and move on to another state. I, there's no point in me going to Destin or Tampa or unless there is a surgeon that you specifically want to cover. Um, Mindietta, 
Um, I love Mendietta. Yeah, I covered Mendietta last week. Mendietta is great. He's just expensive. But outside of that, um, there's nothing bad I have to say about Mendietta. Work is good. Tummy Tuck is good. Bedside Manor is good. Just don't piss him off. But Mendietta is bomb. Um, no. Next week, we're going to do DMV. And then after that, we can cover um, other surgeons or other places. Y'all can pick and vote. I'll let y'all vote on where you want to go after the DMV. So whether you want to go to Texas or Georgia or New York, I'll leave it up to you all. And um, you can y'all can navigate this. I just know I wanted to start with. And I mean, we have Turkey. We have Peru. We have Barbados. We have Colombia. We have um, we got like we got a whole year. Uh, what week are we in? It's like week. Is this week six or seven? We in the middle of February. We got a whole another year and a whole bunch more Tuesdays to cover a whole bunch of more surgeons. But next week is going to be in the DMV. So thank you all for hanging out with me and let me take over your time out with time out. Um, tomorrow we will be back to our regularly pro program schedule. Um, answering all y'all questions that are not surgeon questions. Um, Dr. Jones from Nip and Tuck. No, not next, but I, I will do Georgia. Georgia, we'll probably do in like three weeks or so. Let's see how many searches I get through with the DMV in next week. All right, I'm going to go find some food to inhale. Talk to y'all later.